Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Cinquanta Cocksmith of www.cinquantacocksmith.com. Smile for me. So today I am back with another video with the niche idea series. I will be doing these monthly. Again, I'll be focusing on three different design styles. That'll be a journal, a t-shirt design, and an interior. So those are the top, top, and popular items on my channel that you guys love to watch and I am randomly going to just choose three niches to design in and today we are going to start with the February niche design ideas so I have the little wheelie here and I put in Valentine's Day bubblegum day and black history month so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified every time that I release a new video. I'm gonna go ahead and click spin and today we'll see depending on what I get, what I'll design. So bubblegum day, I think this will be exciting to do on a journal. So I am going to go ahead over to Canva and I am going to um, get my 12 point, oh, let me do it in inches, my 12.55 by 9.25 for a six by nine journal with 120 pages. I'm gonna go ahead and create the cover and let's see what we can find for bubble gum day. That was it, right? Bubble gum day. So um, if you guys are seeing these videos in the month that uh, it is not February, it's because I decided to do this late, but these videos can be used for years and years to come because these holidays are every single year, okay? So just because you see this February video in March or you saw that January video in February, it is okay. By the time March and April comes, I'll be on track to deliver these videos in the actual month. So bear with me, okay? So we're going to, I'm gonna go to photos first just to see what kind of bubblegum photos I see. Um, of course, that's one that's super cute. There's a girl with a bubblegum blowing. There's some more bubblegums, lots of bubblegums here. And I want to see what they have in Element for bubblegum. Oh, as well, just to give myself. Okay, so I really like these different candies. So I'm going to do a black background, go back to Element. Um, and let's see. So there's a bubble gum there. Bubble gum, bubble gum in the ditch. How many bubble gums do you wish? <laughs> so I know y'all used to play games growing up as kids. Um, there's a red one. So when you do like the, it kind of tells you all the bubble gums that are in like the same recommendations that it recommends for you. So I like these little swirlies. So I wanna kinda of use these as well. Kinda of size them up a little bit. Um, it's a pink one. So like a different color one. Let's see. Add that one in there. Okay, so I'm gonna group these, both of them. And I'm gonna go ham. Let me grab my line with the element. And split my page down the middle so that I can see what I'm working with. Get it to 90 degrees. Okay, so that's the middle. And I'm just gonna like double like the bubble gum on the page. Okay. Just get it a nice little situation. Okay. I'm gonna do the same with this side. And it does not matter if it goes over the line, in my opinion, because it just builds a little bit of character with the book, with the journal. Can you see, you see different styles? 
forming here. And I'll probably put another one over on this side. There we go. Let's get some bubble gum going on this side too. Yeah, it's just a little bit. So that's my bubble gum, but I feel like I need to go extra. Oh. And just over layer it. And I like that that one went big a little bit. So this is me just creating my own textured layered bubblegum fantasy. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to hit this. And now we can move these pieces again. The goal might be to cover up the black space. Okay, just copy a little bit and bring some pieces over. So this actually is kind of relaxing. <laughs> Very relaxing covering this page with like bubble gums. I don't know if it's relaxing for you, but it kind of is for me. Like the goal is to get it covered and do it well. So, did that side. Now let's do this side. Okay, I'm going to make some of these bigger, and then we're just going to kind of keep going, just like we did on the other side. Okay. And just moving things until we cover most of the section. Okay. And I'm just like copying, moving, grooving, filling in spots where I can. It, it, the picture really looks delicious. Like, to be honest, it looks super yummy. And this is not fair. Because <laughs> I want to eat the bubble gum at this point. So I think I pretty much got it filled. Probably just need to move some things over just a little bit to cover up some other spots. And that's basically all I'm doing right here is just filling in like little spots that I can still see. So just like this one spot right here and then possibly down here. Okay, so that's like completely filled with bubble gum. Um, I'm going to put a yellow mask over this and I'm going to Brighten it up, and then I'm going to put some text on it. I'm going to use my favorite one, um, and I'm going to do it in white. You could also do it in pink if you wanted to, but I'm going to do a bubble gum a day, and that's just 
what I'm going to name that. I'm going to ungroup this. I'm going to go back and change that to white in case you were wondering. And I'm going to put that in white. Um, and there we have it. You can also go back and I don't know, depending on what the transparency you wanted to see. Um, or is it because this is not positioned to the front? No, it is. So make sure this is to the back behind the words. No, I don't want it behind the, I just want it behind the, the words. So there we go, a bubble gum a day. It does look a little cloudy, but I think it's unique as well. So we did a bubble gum a day, and that was a February niche for bubble gum um, national day. Basically, I think that's what it is called bubble gum day. So here is a journal um, for a February niche, and I designed it in Canva. Um, I just got super creative and kind of did it all over. Um, I went candy crazy uh and that's a super cute design that i created for bubblegum day for a february niche idea so i hope you guys are enjoying this series just to see different things or different ideas or different niches to design in for different niches in the month i'm not saying at all that these niches are the niches you must upload in i am not saying that they do sell tons i am just giving ideas and inspiration for things that you can do for different niches in the months of February um, that you can explore. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and until next time, I love you more than I love this video. Peace.